Hey, what's up guys? This is Josh from Dim Sum Tech. And today I'm gonna go over what I've put on my one wheel GT and hopefully you can learn something about it. First things first, I'm rocking with just the stock treaded tire by Future Motion. This is what it comes with. I feel like it's just fine. I don't have any complaint about it. Actually, I like how durable it is. And yeah, I've been rocking it since day one. I have no issue, uh, I have no complaint. I do have the injury tire uh, on the XR and I think they feel just about the same. Um, this one is the custom rail guards that I ordered from Craft and Ride. They're working together with Flux Skins and they did a very good job. Uh, looks good. I custom designed this myself. Uh, even the skull here, the eyes match with the hub bolts. I just throw on some Blink-182 posters. And yeah, they look fantastic. On the other side, I still have the murdered out rail guards by Future Motion. Future Motion still makes the best rail guards for your one wheels because they're thicker and their adhesive is stronger and just lasts longer than other custom rail guards or other third party rail guards. Check out my grip tapes. That's a sick, sick grip tape. Uh, this is custom job. Uh, this one I ordered from onewheelparts.com. Thank God for OneParts.com because they make the best grip tapes that you can get. This is their Ignite grip tapes. They're not padded, but they all come perforated. So if you're scared to create ghosting issue with your GT by applying grip tapes on the front foot pad, don't be. Because the grip tapes that come from one wheel parts, they come perforated. You have less chance of creating air bubbles on here. And don't forget to represent the people that I like, the companies that I like, this fun wheel, Float Life Baby, Craft and Ride right here, and of course, one wheel from Future Motion. <clears throat> the biggest upgrade that I've done to my one wheel GT is this VRH. VRH stands for Variable Ride Height. So before the one wheel GT is sitting really tall, the rounded profile tire from Future Motion, it makes you to feel very tippy and not stable at all. Uh, I was having trouble on the trails. So I'm so glad that VRH came out. And let me just show you how to change the height. Now you can adjust the board height. The second hole on VRH is your stock height. And then if you need more clearance while riding trails, you can make it higher like this. I like to set mine on the fifth hole. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. When you're lower to the ground, you feel safer and it allows me to go a little faster and just feel more confident overall. That's it, it's that easy to change the height of your one wheel. So if there's any upgrade that you need to prioritize on your one wheel GT, it's definitely the VRH by Landsurf. All right guys, that's it for my one wheel GT. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to pick up the VRH, pick up the custom rail guards by Craft and Ride, pick up the custom grip tapes from onewheelparts.com. See you later, peace.